I'd like to think that everybody knows what they want or expect out of video games, but I don't know. Maybe everybody doesn't know what they want or expect to get out of video games. I know for me personally, it is enjoyment, but what I don't look for necessarily is towards the future. I'm usually not thinking about what's going to happen or what video games might become because video games have been a part of my life since I was a kid, so I just assume they're always going to be around and they will always be a part of my life. But what I didn't expect was for the 80s retro side sci-fi period to take over the entire gaming industry. Games like Cyberpunk 2077 and... Huh. Okay, well, maybe it's not taking over the industry? Ascendant Infinity is the latest extraction game that's coming to the market probably before Arc Raiders, probably before Marathon, probably maybe not before Grey Zone Warfare, but who cares? It's really not an extraction shooter. Ascendant Infinity is its own kind of genre. It is a arena style PvPvPvPvE shooter. There are four, maybe five teams of three that battle it out for a bio core. Ascendant Infinity is a really interesting game because it's different. The mechanics are really refreshing and new, the guns are different, it has this sci-fi effect, it's retros 80, it has nudity, not that anybody probably really cares about that, and it's not a battle royale or an extraction shooter, it has this arena extraction-esque vibe to it. Now I know you're probably not here for this mumbo jumbo about the game itself, but mm, there was a little summary of it. I almost forgot to introduce myself. Name's Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership, your go-to extraction news source so that you and I can stay better than our friends together. So 80s retro sci-fi taking over the gaming industry. Probably not, because all of the games I can think of off the top of my head are actually just two games. I will say that Marauders, another extraction game, does have a similar-esque vibe to the prior time period of history, but it's not the 80s and it's not retro sci-fi. It's actually very realistic and it's World War II, not 80s. Overall, I just want to talk about the unique aspects that Ascendant Infinity has to it. Like I've mentioned before, the gunplay is really unique. The setting is really interesting, it's on a planet, there's a bit of a story behind it. For the type of game that it is, you wouldn't think it would have much story. But the reason that the title is the way it is, is because I think that Ascendant Infinity has a very unique style to it, and has the opportunity to grow very popular. There's been a lot of movement behind some of the trailers on YouTube, in case you haven't seen them. There is also a video posted by Ascendant's YouTube channel that has a million views as well, which is kind of crazy because it only has has like 600 likes. I'm not saying y'all bought it, but uh, what's going on there? Anyways, moving on. So 80s retro sci-fi shooters, really fun, really interesting, really unique. Cyberpunk did really well, not necessarily 80s retro, but certainly retro sci-fi, maybe not 80s, maybe more 90s. Also still a shooter. It is much more a RPG than it is a shooter, obviously giving you other options than just shooting. However, Ascendant Infinity is not an RPG. It is an arena style extraction-esque shooter. So, what the hell is going on here? I don't really know. I think that the future of games in general is very, very odd right now. As you should probably already know, Call of Duty isn't really doing all that great. Battlefield's not really doing all that great. There's a lot of games on the rise that are smaller teams that are gaining a lot of traction and popularity. So, suffice to say, I'll just say that I hope the future of gaming is 80s retro sci-fi. If you find Extraction Games intriguing, go ahead and click the video on screen now, and if you want more news for Extraction Games in the future, go ahead and click subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace!